Hi guys, welcome to this SPSS Assassin video on how to complete chi-square tests of independence. So we're going to use these tests where we want to determine whether the frequency of something occurring is more likely under one condition compared to another condition. So for example, we might look at the different types of clothing that people wear in different countries. So if you have a relatively cold country like Scotland and a relatively warm country like Spain, we can ask whether the frequency with which people were wear um, t-shirts versus jackets in those two different countries varies. So let's go to SPSS and we'll go to variable view and then we'll go to the top cell and we'll tell SPSS what the first of these two variables is. So let's write country into this cell and then we'll write clothes into the cell below. Once we've done that let's go to the values column and we'll put a zero here which can stand for Scotland and we'll put a 1 here and that can stand for Spain. Then we'll just do the same thing for clothes. So we'll click on this cell in the values column again and we'll use a 0 to stand for t-shirts and we'll use a 1 to stand for jackets. Okay, once we've done that let's go to data view and we can see that country and clothes have appeared at the top of these two columns. If we go back to this table, we can see that we have 20 people from each country. So we've got 13 plus 7 in Spain, and we've got 4 plus 16 in Scotland. So let's tell this to SPSS. So we'll enter 20 zeros here, and we'll enter 20 ones beneath. Let's go back to the table. So we can see in Scotland, four people wore t-shirts and 16 people wore jackets. So we'll do four zeros here. And we'll do uh, 16 ones. If we go back to the table again, 13 people wore t-shirts, seven wore jackets in Spain. So we'll do 13 zeros and we'll do seven ones. Okay, so we have the data entered, so let's go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then go to Cross Tabs. And we usually put <clears throat> what we think is the independent variable into the rows box. So let's put country into the rows box, and let's put clothes into the columns box. We'll then go to Statistics, and we'll check Chi-square, then click continue. We'll go to cells and we just want to get percentages for the rows. You'll see why in a second. Right. So you can see that in Scotland, 20% of people wore t-shirts and 80% wore jackets. Whereas in Spain, 65% wore t-shirts and 35% wore jackets. Then we look at the number in the sig column in the Pearson chi-squared uh, chi row, we can see that this value is 0 0.004, so it's below 0 0.05, um, and we can therefore uh, say that there was a significant effect of country on the frequency with which people wore different types of clothing. So how do we report this? So here's an example. So we can just report the percentages first. We can say that Jackets were worn by 80% of people of Scotland, but only by 35% of people in Spain. And then we can report the specific statistics associated with these numbers. Um, so we've got this as the chi-squared symbol, and this is the chi-squared value, so 8.29. So where does that come from? So let's come from this top row again. Uh, the value is here, 8.286. And all we've done is rounded that. Uh, that number up to two decimal places, so we have 8.29. This 1 is the degrees of freedom, so that's come from here, and this 40 is simply the number of people involved in the study, so you can see this number here. And then finally we have the p-value 0.004, so we've just reported that um, exactly as it appears in SPSS. Uh, so all of these values have been reported in accordance with the guidelines set out by the APA. 
Okay, so thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. Thanks.